What's up everybody? Welcome. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk to you guys about select clause and also I will show you keyword as. Okay guys, let's get started. First of all, you can see here I have a table and this table uh, that we created before. We have ID, name, surname and each or etc etc. And I showed you this select and from keyword. I said if you write here select star from, that means that means uh, you want to get everything because star means everything. But in this lecture, I will not use this like this. I will say select. Okay, here I have ID, name, surname, and age. I will say select ID, comma, select name, comma, age. Okay, I said select ID, name, and age. And I will write here from which table you want to write employee okay guys this is my employee table and i said just select id name and age let's run this sql you can see i just got id name and age because i i said here just got this or you can write here not get this age just get me id and name okay if you run this SQL, you will see ID and name. Or let's remove this ID from here. Okay, I will say select name and surname. Okay, I will remove this. I will, sorry, I will run this and I will say name and surname. This is the basic select clause for selecting columns from your table. I want to show you doing some kind of mass problem on your select clause for example i set here name and surname okay i will say comma and get this age okay after writing here get age i will just write plus okay 10. you can see i did here some kind of mass operation because i said age plus 10. let me come here Sorry, let's create new SQL. I will say select star from employee. Okay, if I click run here, I will see all my information about this employee. And you can see here I have age 55, 45, 89, and 34, etc, etc. But I said here, give me name, surname, but age plus 10. When I click run here, I should say, you can see here, this is H plus 10. Uh, 65 is my first result. But here, usually my age is 55. But here I say I saw 65. For example, second is 45. I saw 55. My marriage age of this Mary Jane is 99. But here Jane is 89. You can see I just increment 10 my age or you can see here i saw this age plus 10 and in this situation if you want to change this age you will need to write this as keyword okay uh, this as keyword will change your column name or will modify your column name okay like this i will say age plus 10 as for example i will write new underscore age okay if you run this, you should see not age plus 10, you should see new age. Or you can see this, let's not write new age, you will see uh, after underscore 10 underscore year. Okay, if you click this, you should see after 10 year. Now, Tom Hanks is 55, but after 10 years, Tom Hanks is 65. Okay, let's get here ID also, ID and comma. Let's click this. You can see ID, name, surname, and after 10 years is this. And here is ID, name, surname, and age like this. Or let's say you want to get this age not 10 uh, increment 10. For example, multiplicate 2. Let's remove this. Also, let's remove this as keyword from here. I will say age after this comma. I will say age and multiplication multiplication just let's write two okay i said i want to get age double okay and let's write 
this let's not write anything let's just click here you can see tom hanks was 55 became 110 my peter terror was 45 became 90 here okay this is just a multiplication and let's get this as and let's write i will say two underscore times okay let's run this you can see this age became two times so guys this was our select statement and this was a, a as keyword you can see guys i just wrote here one line of uh sql statement or one line of sql query and i did whatever i want to do okay you can see this was a previous and this is new version of my table so guys let's finish our lesson here let's see you in the next lecture <music>